What's going on, everybody? Kudoj15 from uh, editing mode here. Um, <laughs> that sounded weird. Anyways, I've been needing to actually talk about this in a video, but I never have. And I literally just remembered while I'm editing this video at 1 in the morning because I kind of forgot to do it today. But anyways, um, I actually have a Discord server where I want to put, like, video clips and um, live stream stuff into this. So that way... If we get like a shiny like Pokemon on a live stream, someone could just send it to me on Discord and I could take it and post it onto a YouTube short, which then would have a short for y'all to watch and enjoy. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below if you want to um you know come and join the Discord server. Now by the time you probably click on it, like after like a few days, it most likely is expired. But from now on, I'm going to put it in near the end of like my videos i'm gonna like advertise it saying discord is back up you guys can rejoin so anyways let's get back to the video how's it going everybody welcome back to our video i hope you're having a great day and today we're going to be reviewing something a little more different on the channel now i've never reviewed a product like this before so this is gonna be a first time opening for me and same thing for y'all so we're gonna be reviewing the master universe masterverse she -Ra. And this box is huge, so I have to pick up the camera off the stand. But this thing is huge. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we can continue, I do want to show off the back of the box. Where it's got like everyone else, like Hordak, Catra, Skeletor, Zordak, and He-Man. I hate this He-Man, by the way. Let me grab my light, because my auto flasher is not wanting to work. But I hate this He-Man. Look at that thing, it's ugly. Skeletor is kind of cool, Catra is amazing, and same thing with Hordak. Catra and Hordak are very good. Now, there's one problem I hate with this set. Is it, it shows Swiftwind on the box. But does it come with Swiftwind? No! It doesn't! And it makes me so sad. I get why they have to put it sometimes. But it makes me so sad. But you got some text here. I'm not really good with saying text out loud like for a camera. So I'm just going to leave it on the screen for a minute. And y'all can read that. So, there you go. Um... Now, basically, I've never reviewed something like this. It's new to me to, like, review this. Like, usually, you can review Funko Pops or, like, you know, other stuff. But this is the first time I'm reviewing something like this. So, it's a little new to me. So, if I mess something up, please let me know down in the comments. But anyways, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just pop these out while talking. Um, now, while I'm just doing this, do we, yeah, we probably will not be getting a review or a monthly haul this month this is stuff as it's mainly the fact how i don't really got much stuff to review it's maybe like three items and so yeah i'm probably not gonna do a monthly haul this month uh if i do i'll probably put it in february but yeah this thing is stuck the headpiece with the helmet is like stuck jesus Anyways, um, so this cape, uh, is made of, like, a cloth, not, like, a plastic, which I really like. I like how they did that. Usually, I'm not a big fan of, like, plastic capes, as they're just not that great. But this thing has, like, these little, like, little, what are they? They're, like, the plastic thing that, like, keep, like, something in, like, the place, so that way it doesn't, like, slide around the box. kind of don't like that since it's cloth. Especially now, because, I mean, look at this. They're literally just, like, stuck on the cape. You can literally see it. It's, I'm not a big fan of that. But, you know what? It's all good. But now, move on to she -Ra. But first, we'll take a look at the sword. Um, so, the sword is bent. I do not like that at all. That makes me very sad. That's the same thing with the Funko Sodas for, uh, which one? It was Prince Adam, I believe, and also He-Man. The sword was, like, bent, and I was never a big fan of that. So... There's also ways to fix this, but I don't think I am. It's just a little disappointing. I'll try to rebend it, but I don't think I can. I need to back this up. There we go. Okay, let me get she out of here. Oh, great, she's stuck. Okay, give me a second now to get this out. Goodness gracious, I've been trying for like two minutes straight, and she's just stuck. Jeez, I'm scared I'm gonna break her. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, I think I see the problem. There's tape on the back of the cape. Maybe that's holding it into place, or is it the hair? I think it was the, I think it was the tape. She's moving now. 
Oh, she's got restraints. I don't like that at all. I didn't even notice. She's got restraints like around her arms. So I didn't even notice that. That's so dumb. Make it noticeable, please. So, anyways, I will say the price for this I got. Um, usually, how much was it usually? Like 33 bucks? Um, this tag says $16.49, but I actually got it for like 10 bucks. So, I do recommend purchasing it if you're a She-Ra fan. Um, they're actually not that bad. It is cool to see She-Ra merch. I mean, the last thing I've gotten of She-Ra was last year for Funko, which was the compound one with the bag. And then the year before that was the Pop, Swift Wind, and uh, the actual um, retro She-Ra from the 80s. But anyways, um, we'll get to She-Ra in a minute because she just got out of the box. But I want to show off the cape because this cape piece is pretty cool. Again, I do not like that, but you can always just take this out. I don't really know how, but I'll get it out. Um, it's not that. I, I like how it's cloth. Because cloth stuff is pretty good, you know, in a way. Because plastic stuff just looks weird. Like, with Funko stuff, it looks off. With cloth, it just looks cool for, like, a stop motion or something. So, I'm a huge fan of that. Now, for the shield. Holy crap, I love this. This is cool. I don't really know about the blue there. Like, you can kind of see some blue, like, around the shield. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Kind of looks a little weird, but damn. I like that. Um, and then what we got? Again, we got the sword. Let me show off the sword again. I, I do like the little the little gems in the sword. It's really nice. And then um, we got the headpiece. We'll, uh, we'll put this on Shira in a few minutes. But I really do like this piece. I don't... I haven't watched much of the show like since then so basically i don't really know if she got, got like a headpiece but either way i'm just glad you know this is included because it does look pretty dope i do like it a lot but anyways let, let's get on to she-ra okay finally my flash tried to work but here's she-ra she's still got tape on her cape i don't like how they put tape on the cape but at least the tape is pretty loose so it won't like fly off dude i hate that it sucks sometimes. But anyways, let me move these aside. Here's She-Ra. She's huge. I'm gonna say that. Dude, she's bigger than a Funko Pop box. Look at this. She's really bigger than the Spider-Man. That's insane. Um, but it's nice. The, the little, um, the dress here is like a kind of rubbery plastic. Near, like, up here, it's like plastic completely. Which is really nice. The face expression is pretty on point. We'll try to get closer on that. It's pretty on point. I like it. Um, the hair, I didn't say this with this one, but if we're going like wise from like the old days, this should be a little more lighter than like a gold. But overall, it's not bad. Like, what was it really for this one? Yeah, on the uh, the old toy that was re released in 2021, it was yellow and not gold. But I do believe she's in the new Master of the Universe show on Netflix. I haven't watched it. I need to back that up. Um, I haven't watched it. But I heard it's pretty good. She, the problem is with this is that she is not wanting to stand. She's not wanting to like stand upright and she'll just fall and she actually hit my camera. So that's a little more disappointing. So we have to like do that. Uh, the hand expressions, not a fan of, but you actually do get these like hands. And I think I already lost one. Are you serious? I think I already lost one. It comes with two. One of them was not in the place. Oh, no. Oh, crap. All right, well, you know what? Let me just continue to review She-Ra for a second, and then I'll look for it. But, um, yeah, I do like it. Oh, yeah, we can get this real quick. I'm going to take off her head. Oh, wait, this thing is stiff. Oh, wait, not really. Like, her her hair is, like, completely different. I'm scared about these because I don't like how you could just take them off, but I don't think this can even come off. It comes with another headpiece, but... How am I supposed to take this off? Up, up. <laughs> so, uh, um, I didn't realize, but the cape is removable. So, if you don't want this tiny little cape, you can always just replace it with this cape, which we will in a minute, but I'll just show you here. So here it is. It's actually not that bad, but it's a little more bigger than I expected it to be. But I think it does slide down, yeah. yeah. I like that a lot more than just this tiny one. So, I do like this. Um, again, with these, you, you can use this as, like, a, like, a bull thing. Because I know, like, with cars, like, they have L made the door. 
and like the bowl. So like what you could do is like do this and then go like do that and go ole and all that. So you have Shira again, like the better place. Like the head is just scary, like below it. This is kind of scary to like have like that. It's just terrifying. But anyways, um, let me look for the other arm. And I'll come back to you, but everything else will be on, like, the sword and that, and then this head. They'll all be on it, but let me look for this arm, and I'll get ready. Okay, so, it took a little bit, but I did actually find the arm, like, pretty quickly. Um, uh, my flash turned off again. That's just great. But anyways, here is Shira with everything else on, like, with the battle helmet, the... I'm, I'm just gonna call this a battle cape. As well as the, uh, sword. Again, it's bent, and I hate it. Like, why, Mattel? Why would you do this? Bent swords suck. I hate that so much. But, um... The shield actually went on pretty easily, though. It's not that bad. It's pretty secure. If you, like, pull on it a little more harder, you'll get it off. But it's... Oh. So you gotta pull pretty hard, but it is pretty secure. So don't worry about it, like, falling out. Um, but, yeah, I do like this. I do like the cape a lot more. This face expression, I'm not a big fan of. I don't really like it, like, on the figure. But it does look dope. I do like it. I'm just not a fan of it on the figure. So I'm probably gonna put this she wear head back on here so anyways um what else you got like these little two little hands i'll try to zoom in on these a lot more there we go we'll do this one this one's just like a fist so she like she could punch like oh, i forgot the camera i'm facing the ripley funko pop and not the spider-man one i guess she can go like that but not bad i don't like tiny hands so that's the one thing i hate and then you got this one which i believe can hold a better expression of the sword like on the other hand, like this one. So you can put like the shield. Keep forgetting to do that. But like you put the sword in this hand rather than that hand, which I do like a lot. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about Shira now since we just reviewed this. Um, but yeah, I guess let's move on. So to the I outro. have to do that now, like with a pop or something to like have my flash on, but. Anyways, um, there you have it, y'all. The Master of the Universe She-Ra action figure from the Masterverse. I really don't know what to really call this line of action figures. I mean, I guess you can just call them the Masterverse, but, um, hopefully I can find Catra and Hordak, because I'm a She-Ra fan, not a He-Man fan. And actually, actually, at the end of this video, which is now, after the outro, I'm going to show y'all, um, where I'm going to put her on my little display so stick around to the end which is gonna be like 20 seconds but thank you for watching um like the video if you would like to consider subscribing um it's free and you can always unsubscribe anytime um and comment down below what was your favorite thing about this action figure um now if the comments do get removed because i do gotta say this now um youtube is gonna remove my comments on every single video except for the uh bart's cutting fish for 13 minutes i don't know why that went through but it did. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know exactly freaking why. I think it might be because I don't curse. But I'm cursing here. Fuck. So I don't know why they do that. But my shorts usually get a comment, you know, section. So if y'all want to go say something about this, um, let me know. Say like, hey, I'm from the Shira video and do all that. And I'll respond to you. But um, thank you for watching. This is Kudo signing out. Have a great day or night. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Review over. Let's take her here. Hang on for a second. Dude, everything keeps falling, man. I hate when that happens. Let's move you back. I need to try to get something for you because you won't stand up. Put you there. Give me she raw. See if she's in the pose. She's not in the pose. Like that. Perfect, and then where's my pop I just had? Right here. This won't stand, but it's just not gonna stand, but perfect. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!